Charles Oliveira, Justin Gaethje. Look, guys, this is a real simple case. I mean, this is a real simple case of Charles Oliveira is better than we've admitted he is. One of the great lines tonight was by Joe Rogan. It's the very end of the night. It was the end of this fight, and Joe Rogan said, it's times like this. We gotta get to be back. Now, RC, he's gonna get knocked out. Let's just put it out there. At some yeah. point, somebody's gonna get him enough to where he's not gonna be able to recover. But until right. then, it's about to be a fun ride, man, because this dude's in the greatest fights that we've seen in a long time. I, I think that he wasn't able to fight more conservative against Charles because Charles won't let anybody fight conservative right. against him because of the way that he approaches you. He just goes after you. Ryan, when he got hit with that second right hand and he got dropped, and he went to throw another push kick and he just fell backwards. It's yeah. like, dude's body was like, his body just kind of was stop. like, okay, you gotta go down. Like, I you know you right. wanna keep fighting, but your body needs to fall because we gotta let right. your brain kind of recover. So Justin hit him with a lot of shots, but when he does get up, he doesn't take a step backwards. He goes right back into the fire and he puts pressure on you. And that's why he's so dangerous. Now he hit Justin Gaethje with that right hand that dropped him in the middle of the exchanges. So Justin threw a combination, felt like they were gonna take a stop, a break for a second. And the moment Justin stopped throwing, boom, Charles dropped that right hand on him. And that's where you see the difference. Charles rushed him and punched, missed, but when he missed, he went right into back control, right? He went right into the grappling. You can't do that against him. So it allows him to recover. When you watch it, you watch how Justin was missing big because mm -hmm. all that pressure made him want to garner some respect from Charles Oliveira. And Charles Oliveira really is just not giving nobody respect. He's right. walking dudes down and he's just doing his thing. And Ryan, maybe he's not a star before, but every time he goes out there with those types of fights, he grows and grows and grows. That dude went into that fight last weekend with 2 million Instagram followers. Yesterday I saw him put up a post, he's at 3 million Instagram followers. So he's Crazy. starting to connect. You, make, you get a million Instagram followers over a weekend, you're starting right. to really make an impression on people. And uh, the kid's special, man. The kid is truly special. I'm just fascinated by what Dubronx has become in this game because we have never seen a guy make more of a turn in their career. Robbie Lawler, maybe. Robbie yeah. Lawler, maybe, from yep. mm -hmm. Strike Force being okay to becoming the dominant UFC champion. But outside of that, I haven't seen a Charles Oliveira. And we're finding out with Charles that you have the right to get better, don't you? You have the right to grow. You have an ability to use those experiences to improve. Like, it was so nasty what we saw, I believe it was Joe Rogan. To see Justin Gaethje get his ass kicked, it's just not something we see, guys. We've seen it once. Justin Gaethje has been dominated once, that was by Khabib. I can't say the same thing happened to him tonight. I just get right, when you get caught and you go down, it's a little bit different. Then when Khabib goes out and takes a guy down, I come from a wrestling background. There's something about this man. He is on a mission, and that mission started the moment the referee said fight. Oliveira walked forward, landed a right hand straight away. Beautiful shot, beautiful shot. Gagey was hurt, and I thought, wow, here we go. But then Gagey, being the man that he is, because he ain't no walk in the park, he ain't no pussy, right? Gagey came to fight, and Gagey came to win. And that's what made that few minutes so spectacular, because Gagey hurt him, Gagey dropped him, Gagey had the word with all the smart, the fight IQ, the logic, whatever you want to call it, to not follow him down to the ground. I mean, you shouldn't do that. The man has the most submissions in the history of the UFC. I mean, his record is absolutely incredible. It just is. It just is. It's just absolutely goddamn wild. You know, going all the way back to the scale thing, the UFC has now said they're going to have security that protects the scale. The check scales to ensure <laughs> what right. happened last week and doesn't happen again. Because look, call me a cheater all you want, but if I'm the commissioner, Guy steps on that 155.2.3. I'm knocking that thing off to the right and saying 155. Let's, we got a title <laughs> fight. Let's go. Because 0.2 pounds, what does right. it really matter ultimately in the grand scheme of things? I think leaving the arena on Saturday, I'm almost like at a loss. And me and Rogan and Anik were all kind of sitting there going, this Charles Oliveira, man, like what in the world? It was a very iconic celebration, like showing the belt and that sort of thing. And you went straight over to Dana White. Can you reveal what did you actually say to Dana moments after you won in the Octagon? Campeão se chama Charles Oliveira. Não esqueça disso. 
The champion is Charles Oliveira. Don't forget that.